Hello everyone, so we are swiftly moving along with the dark side of Jake Paul. The dark side of Jake Paul. And I want to acknowledge uh, that the top comment made me giggle. Shane, do sociopaths breathe? Therapist, yes, Shane, I literally have goosebumps. Um, I just love it when my therapist calls my depression disgusting. Um... So people are saying the therapist literally described almost everyone as a sociopath. And on top of that, she referred to the sociopathic disorder as gross. If I was a patient and I needed therapy, I sure as hell wouldn't be going to her. So we're already starting this off with this is the unfortunately trigger warning. This is the Katie Morton <laughs> section of the Jake Paul series. And she doesn't fuck off for a while. Um, <laughs> so viewer discretion advice. Katie Morton. Um, let's get into this. This is the dark side of Jake Paul. And by the way, if a lot of people do not know much about Jake Paul or Jake Paul's exes or relationships, or whatever like that, I don't either. I'm watching this. I watched until episode five, I think, on whenever I watched this in 2018 or something like that. And I gave up because I didn't understand any of the people. So we're in this together, right? We're in this together. We're trying to see it. We're doing this thing on my channel where we go through and watch them. But first of all, can we get some tomatoes in the chat for Katie Morton? Please. And if you're watching on YouTube... I want some tomatoes in the chat, please. Um, anyway, um, important note, once again, I am 100% not trying to call any celebrity or YouTuber a sociopath, even though in it, he's like, I know people here are sociopaths. I wanted to give examples. Enjoy the ride. I don't think we are, but we're here for it either way. All right. I love when YouTubers include the, like, setting up of the camera, because you can just edit that out. It doesn't make it more authentic. Part two of the mind of Jake Paul. Now, today's episode is sit down with therapist Katie Morton to talk about the therapist Katie Morton. of Jake Paul. And we also talk about my issues and the fact that I probably need more therapy. So that's why I'm excited to once again say that today's episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. This is no, I think this is really interesting to think about because apparently, allegedly, rumors are that Katie has stakes in BetterHelp. So this is a shady sponsorship. Again, that is all alleged. Um, but anyway, to put a BetterHelp sponsorship on a video about mental health is such a bad idea because BetterHelp, you can Google it yourself, have so many controversies. Anyway, let's skip past that. Is where you go into someone's room while they're sleeping, you put a ton of blankets over them. It's like a lot of weight and like pressure and they feel like they're in a coffin and you play an ambulance noise and then you start to talk like, it's gonna be okay, it's gonna be okay. She's gonna make it through it. Why is he whispering? It's making me uncomfortable. Freak out. All right, so let's see what happens. <laughs> Okay. Wait, this would freak me out. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> that's, that's such a mean prank. <laughs> what the heck? That's a crazy prank. That was so scary. Jesus. You, you couldn't breathe? No. That's a crazy prank. <laughs> Makes it more real. The brain, the mind of Jake Paul. Are you mad at me? Don't be mad at me. You're alive. Oh my god, Shane and his lover. Do you see Ryland in this clip? No. Exactly. A moment shared between two lovers. This is true intimacy. Oh, and then there's Ryland. So then Rylan being like, find out if we're all psychopaths. There's no way you should be making a series on mental health whenever you're throwing around the terms like that. The music. Hey everybody, today I want to talk to you about the word psychopath. No! No! What do you think? I don't want Katie Morton! I think that there's gotta be some reason why somebody can be as, I don't know what the word is, outgoing, negatively like, yeah. outgoing, is it? I love you. Not Andre. He got Andre too. He got Andre in on this shit. I love you. Whatever. Yeah. This probably runs in the family because it's weather. Right. But Logan, I feel like, is more likable. Yeah. Right? Like, not as many people hate Girl, just get in your Uber. <laughs> Do you know who Jake Paul is? Leave the Uber driver alone! Yeah. 
doing like a docu little documentary mm -hmm. thing about girl you ain't not making a documentary you're making a vlog and splitting it into eight fucking uploads how long is this an hour 50 we'll say an hour 30 minutes okay i'm a random up or down 30 an hour an hour and a half two hours and a half three hours and a half four hours four hours and a half Six hours. Six hours? <laughs> six hours? This shit is six fucking hours long? For context, we're not watching the six hours, but we're watching this one. Bitch, six hours this vlog is. You better get those end of year ad rates, Shane. Whether or not he's a sociopath. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> have, you, have you met any sociopaths? I meet a lot of people, but I don't know if I met a sociopath. I mean, how do you tell somebody is a sociopath? What are, what are the symptoms? Well, go on, Shane, tell they're them. They're instantly likable. Um, but they don't have real emotions, and everything they do is kind of an act. And they just want to manipulate people. Why, why? Oh my god. <laughs> Does this man know he's being recorded, by the way? Because the way Andrew's recording is like this. You just got this man talking shit about his wife on camera for 25 million people. Divorce incoming. I thought it's the opposite. Somebody that's unlikable, not likable. Yeah. Yeah, that's her. Oh my god, this music is so intense. Sorry, I have something in my eye. I'm just crying. This is so emotional. <sighs> Alright, so let's get into it. A long ass Uber. Let's go. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna be famous. I want Shane Dawson's series on Chelsea Lee Art and Alphaba. Can we get that? Can we get that? I would love that. That Uber driver's going, thank Jesus. Oh, fuck's sake, we're meeting up with Katie. Anything that she could tell you that would make you not want to do this anymore? Like if she says, well... When it comes to this type of person, or when it comes to this disorder, you don't want to X, Y, Z. You even think about that? I mean, you don't really know much about him or this thing that you're claiming he might have, so it's like... Ooh! Did you hear what Andrew said? Andrew said you don't have much inf you don't know much about him or the thing you're talking about. Oh, That was a little job. Work. If... Somebody tells you something about him, or if somebody tells you something Whoa. about this potential okay, Andrew. disorder, maybe you might. Yeah, I mean, get Katie's new book. Are you okay? Not after reading that. Okay. Oh, there she is. Look at that. She has mental disorder books. Okay. <laughs> She's so me. <laughs> you know what? She's so real for that. I love that Andrew zoomed in on it. Are you a sociopath? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> we all know David's a psychopath. <laughs> Surprise, y'all. Exactly. I'm also not a sociopath. Or have some type oh, of Emma. personality disorder. It kind of led into a weird direction, hmm. which we'll get into later. Let it let die. Don't do that. Sociopaths. But before we get to that, use code Shane for better health subscription. You know, you came on my podcast. And you were very, um, clued in. Like, 
you knew that I had struggled with an eating disorder. I look in the mirror and I see a huge person. What is body dysmorphic disorder and how do we know if we have it? You knew by even looking at me. You're very intuitive about all that. So that's why I wanted to talk to you about this because I feel like if anybody could tell What? Me You're very good like that. You looked at me and knew I had an eating disorder. Um... I'm gonna be honest, I would not want a therapist who I don't know to look at me and go, you need to do it. I would rather you don't say that. <laughs> Why is he saying that like it's a compliment? Also, he has so many videos online. Some of his most popular videos are talking about it. So she's not a genius for knowing that. Just like she pretends to research topics before she does them. Me, what to look for, it would be you. Cause I feel like, do you spot them? You can feel them. I don't know if you can really spot them. You can feel <laughs> people with eating that. disorder? Okay. Oh my god. Okay, what do you mean you can feel them? It's it's like a, like you said, roller coaster. That's a perfect way to set it up. God, this editing like is so that. bad. When you're around people like this, it's, it's if, you sen if you sense what I sense, I guess, about them, it's, it's like a pit in your stomach. This like fucking exactly, editing. But just from them being around. He's a movie okay. director. Um, so, besides the, the feeling, what are the characteristics? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot to it. I, a lot of it is just uh, the main thing that people talk about is like they have no. Uh, I just look at Katie Morton and get so angry for so many different reasons. One of the main ones being how she. Um, how she. handled her friendship with Eugenia Cooney. And I think that's a hard thing for people to actually fully understand because most of You don't understand it. Issue, so we feel for other people. Yeah. Cuz you're and an empath. I feel all day. I feel pissed off. I feel excited. I feel disappointed, whatever. They don't have any of that. For instance, So Shane is issuing statements being like I'm not calling any YouTuber um a sociopath. Why are you including clips of like Emma Chamberlain and Travi Moran and you know all these different people? Like what? You're insinuating they are. The other day I was in my car and I'm driving and there's this little lady that started to get into the crosswalk and I was like, "Honey, you got like 12 seconds." I'm worried. <laughs> I hope people wait for you and like pay attention. Right. You know, a, a sociopath would just be like, "Ugh." Like they wouldn't even, it wouldn't worry. There's no worry for her. They don't have any empathy for the situation for her. They wouldn't. If someone kicked a dog and they saw it, they wouldn't feel anything for it. They just have no empathy. And I know I'm talking about like bad things, but also good things. Like, Why are you including that clip? Do we need to see that? No. They just don't. Like imagine. If you lived in a world in your brain where anything that happened to other people, you didn't really care about it at all. You didn't care what how they felt. You didn't care what happened to them, as long as it didn't affect you. The moments many fear would be their last. What weird editing he's doing. He's editing someone watching TV and then on TV is about a skull, you know. Like, he's purposely editing it like this. Bitch, you're the sociopath. But I'm not gonna throw around those words because they have meaning. This is so weird. That is. Yeah, that's hence the like ugh, that feeling. Is that a mental? Disorder? I'm obsessed with her being what? like, I get that feeling from the ugh. Girl, you're a therapist. They're supposed to feel comfortable around you, and you're being like, when they come around, I'm like, ugh. ugh. Girl, please. Is it? Technically speaking, a lot of like clinicians like myself would call it antisocial personality disorder. Hey everyone, it's Iris, and I'm going hey, to Iris. talk to you about antisocial personality disorder, which is my diagnosis. So what are like the bullet points, for example, like in a book, what would it say? All clips shown of YouTubers, actors, and even myself are just being used for context. Maybe don't show them then if you're just showing them for context. Wait, but if you're showing them for context, then you're showing them because you think they're a part of the story. So you're calling them all these different things. But go on, I guess. I am 100% not insinuating that any of the people are shown are sociopaths, but you said it's for context. So why would you be showing it for context if it didn't apply to the thing you're talking about? 
two can't be true at the same time. That, like the law doesn't apply to them and like the rules don't apply to them. They're like above it and they're so important to everybody else that like they'll get away with it. Like nobody will care. I think you should know while we were shooting the episode, I, I got arrested. <laughs> okay. We're getting pulled over. Oh my God. He made me put my hands on the dashboard. Why? Am I threatening? Did you have your ID, man? <laughs> I have a warrant out for my arrest and he just pulls over and let us all go. So they always- So why are you showing those clips? You just showed, showed Jake Paul, Logan Paul, and then showed Tana Mojo, but you're just showing it for context? I just think they're better, bigger, more important than everybody. It is stigmatizing Like, that. for instance, failure to conform to social Oh, she has a book, you guys. Lawful behavior. So they're usually, like, getting into fights. She ended up starting a full-on fight with Nikki. Stealing. After stealing a tube of lip gloss, Megan Fox went on a crime spree at her local Walmart. And Good for her! Good for her. Could go as far as murder. Simpson arrested for the murder of his wife, Nicole, and her friend, Ron Goldman. But then deceitfulness indicated by repeating lying, using aliases, conning others. Um, so using anything they can to get their needs met. People aren't people, they're just tools to be used in their life. But can't you say that that's what Shane did with all of these people? Do I need to reference what Katie did to Eugenia? Girl, you were the one using people as, as little chess pieces. You used and abused that girl. So don't act holier than holy. And I think the only reason both these people are talking about this topic is because they're so in insecure that the fact that this applies to them. For their game, whatever it is. Okay. okay. So like, to a sociopath, the world is a chess game. Yes. And all the pieces are people. And they don't care about them. There's no empathy for them. Remember that. They're just tools. Can I use that to help me get what I want? So, for instance, people who would have antisocial personality disorder would be extremely rude to any help people. So yeah. they tend to be, like, really quick and, like, angry and irritable and, like, push them mm -hmm. So, like, so, for example, if it was a YouTuber, they would probably be rude to fans. Mm -hmm. No, because they no, want No, they give them something, yeah. It's right. Because the main two things that they usually want is power and money. And I'm going to be the biggest entertainer on the planet. I want to be the first social media billionaire. So with fans comes power and money. Bye -bye. Oh my god, I don't even want to listen to that. So they'd probably be actually really nice to the fans. I wouldn't doubt you doing it, man. Oh, I'm going to. Spend a hundred dollars. Oh my god, why do they have so much music? Their merch is a hundred dollars? That's crazy. Or if fan was hurt, they wouldn't care. Not really. But if it meant that they could make a video about it and get more views and get more fans. Jake Pollers, uh, I don't know how to uh, say this, but like, we uh, lost. <laughs> huh? Oh my god, is that actually the editing on that video? Is that actually how Jake Paul edited that video? What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my god. That is that awful. It's so yeah. creepy. It's, it's like, so yeah. creepy. It's so creepy. Girl, you're talking about people that apparently you deal with on a daily basis because aren't you a therapist? Who the fuck is going to her? They're so creepy. They're so disgusting. We're going to have to take a shower after this. I'm going to have yeah. to take a shower after this, she says. And they also are about dealing with her customers. So kind of head. They'll want to do things and then not do things on a whim. Why are you looking at Andre? Which is what makes them a little dangerous. I always think impulsive is like a dangerous thing for both them and the people around them, you know? That sounds like someone we know, but... It sounds like someone we know. Yeah, bitch, hold up a mirror. I think it's so interesting that Katie Morton revealed that like she did like research on sociopaths after Shane brought up that he wanted her to be in the video and cover it. Like she didn't know any of this information. She got it from like Google, which is why well, she's reading out like Wikipedia. Emotion, so, like, they wouldn't cry. They might if they thought it made them fit in or, like, get what they want, because they're deceitful. Okay. So, okay. So sociopaths... So they don't have emotions... Calling people creepy for their emotions. mental yeah, disorders is wrong, yeah. Fit in to get what they want. You and I aren't going to respond well to someone just asking us for something. We'd have to feel emotionally involved in some way in order to do something that needs... Look at that. You and I, Shane, you know, we only do things whenever we feel emotionally involved and we care about people so much. This just makes you both sound awful. We normally wouldn't do. So in order to get people to, to be the tools that they need, 
Move, she has no you idea what she's talking about. Elicit the response they want. So she advocates so much for bringing awareness and then ha and then embarrasses those struggling. Yeah. Kind of mimicking what they've seen in like movies. Yeah, movies, other people around them. If they like, let's say, for instance, we're talking about YouTube. So if they're watching a ton of YouTube videos and they would see how other people responded, they might even read the comments to see how people react to that kind of a video, and then they mimic that in order to let let's say someone was super successful and they did story time videos, for instance. And I'm not calling anybody out. I'm just saying if they saw that someone was doing this, they're like, oh, they got so many views and like the people in the comments really feel for them and then they'll do that maybe they'll buy more merch or whatever right power money if youtube's your job isn't that normally what you would do oh this kind of content is popular let me try it that doesn't make someone so gross that you don't even want to be around them shut up katie then they'll be like oh i could do that too i can mimic that didn't shane spend most of his career doing that though yep until I see you guys next time, stay gorgeous. Describing every YouTuber, yeah, including me. Oh my god, am I supposed to do about What type of behaviors, what type of emotional responses get what they want? How dramatic. I don't want to say this person is a sociopath, because I don't know, but like Logan Paul, for example. Um... The dead body thing was. Bad. Oh my god, he's. Alright, I don't want to watch this part. Sad, it like kind of tells you what the music is. Yeah. Who pick it according to that? Oh funny. my god, this part where she says sociopaths have no emotion that if they're filming a video and they want their audience to feel sad, they'll type in sad music and play it and then we'll get their audience sad. The ironic part about this is the entire time this video is on, there is sad music in the background! Crazy. If somebody didn't know, like, how, how to. Tomatoes in the chat, please. Tomatoes, please. Library and, like, wait, literally wait. Quit the emotions. <laughs> That's what Shane's doing. He's playing video. scary music in the background. Do they not know? Like, would they. If, okay, if a YouTuber is a sociopath and they're making an apology video. I first want to apologize to my brother. So they just type in sad and they pick one? I know. Yeah, that's that. normally how you categorize music. It's normally how you categorize music, including how you did it in this video, Shane. Dipshit. To, like, hurt his feelings. Would they not know what a sad song was? They might know it just because of society. Think about, like, radio DJs will be like, oh, here's a sad song about a lost lover. I mean, I don't know. So they probably learned, but I think what they don't have knowledge of is what it is to experience that emotion. What? When a sociopath... None of this is true, by the way. Mm -hmm. Do other people not feel anything? Because I've been around some people who have cried in front of me, and what not do you, like anybody. Do you want to cry, Shane? Does it make you want to cry? In their life, and I'm like, why do I not feel anything? I don't feel anything right now. It could be. Oh no, he's a sociopath. See, I got a tear come out. Because if they're mimicking, they are honing their craft, kind of. So if they're not Oh, I thought Shane was saying, oh, is this making me a sociopath? No, he's saying that the people that he's around are sociopaths because he doesn't want to cry when they cry. Um, okay very good at it, they want to get the right <laughs> response out of you. Her fans are not having it. Because they, they're not really that Once again, just Everyone showing YouTube clips for context. The sociopath is such a great actor, but when we take pictures of people, they're caught off guard. They don't have time to put the mask on. So, the eyes look... Can we normalize that being a human is exhausting? And you're showing clips of people working where they're professional and being like, and then the cameras stop rolling and they go, that's very normal. That's so normal. And the amount of people in my school, when this video came out, were literally being like, I'm a sociopath. I need to get help. I need to go to... 25 million people watch this and find out the things that they do are sociopathic dead and they have this creepy weird fake smile or their eyes will be dead but then the mouth will do this it's just off something's off <laughs> we're normal only halfway through okay oh my god <laughs> um irritability and aggressiveness is indicated by repeated physical fights or assaults as this is not the first time she's been caught on video throwing a shoe in a fight 
Also, it's very normal human instinct to like sometimes just want to punch a bitch. Like, doesn't make you a sociopath. Like the flat the handle. Oh shit! Okay, oh my God. God. Especially if someone oh tries to discredit them or put them down in some way, this will be like a knee jerk response. Don't catch me outside! Bitch, she got her ass whooped by a fucking thirteen year old. Like they want to fight people or they want to be aggressive, and I honestly believe. The females, this might be a little bit different, where it would be more of a manipulation component to hurt them emotionally. Or maybe like girls would like shout and scream and try to embarrass them. She goes, I girls will do this, or they'll do this. Or actually, wait, they'll do this. Pick one! Pick one! You sound like you have no idea what you're talking about, because you don't. Shane got you to research this just before this video. You do not specialize in sociopaths. What did you miss? Nothing. <laughs> Then next is reckless disregard for the safety of self or others. So they don't really care what happens to them. Because again, like, remember, they don't have any empathy. They don't have any feelings. They have no empathy. No empathy. They don't have feelings like we do in the same way. So they really don't care if something bad happens. Put Katie and Bad Baby in the, in the room for five minutes not together. not care about what happens to you at all. As his lawyer spoke to the press, Simpson goofed around, making faces like he didn't have a care in the world. So like, okay, for example, if they were on a plane mm -hmm. and everybody's feeling turbulent. <laughs> it's like, oh, the plane's about to go down. They wouldn't even really. Not necessarily. It's just like, oh, the game is over. Mm -hmm. The game is over, Shane says, about a plane having turbulence. This video's shocking me for being worse than I remember. What's happening here is Shane wanted something to fit the mold so he could make an entire six hour series about Jake Paul and he needed a therapist that wasn't credible enough to be able to come on board and say whatever he wants. So, Katie Moore. The game is over. They drive fast, probably. Mm -hmm. Like, drugs, drink. Probably. Things that harm the Usually. body, they don't yeah. care. So, if you drink or do drugs, you're a sociopath. Well, guys, I have news for you. Okay. Tattoos. Probably. Well, I have news for you. They put their friends in, in bad places, so that would be like... Yeah, like, think of YouTube, like, if they were doing, like, challenges, they wouldn't care if it was, like, really dangerous for someone or, like, hurt someone. But if we can get a trampoline and jump in the middle of traffic, that would be so fire. Let's do this. Or, like, consider not that we're saying, like, the Paul brothers are sociopaths at all, but, like, wasn't it Jake Paul that, like, lit a huge fire in his pool with, like, furniture? She goes, I'm not gonna say anyone's a sociopath, but isn't he one? You are so unprofessional, girl. So, they could have burned the house down. Or the people's home next door, he could have been sleeping. Like, for God's sake, they don't consider that. A lot of people can fall into that category. Putting your friends in harm without caring. Yeah. Then we have consistent irresponsibility. They don't know what it's like to be responsible because they don't care about how that affects other people mm. let's say they got kicked out of their house and that meant that all the people that live with them were kicked out too they'd be like whatever i'll figure it out they don't care about themselves david dobrik foreshadowing uh-huh and then this is like the worst this, this is the worst the therapist says about her clientele this is the worst girl you're the worst the final one but this last one is lack of remorse but, like, let's say they're being reckless and people get hurt, they don't care. Okay, well, how does that apply to how you did Eugenia Cooney, girl? That seemed pretty lack of remorseful. Look at that. My eyes look dead. <gasps> I'm give any shits about it. Okay, so for example, if the YouTuber, to be too on the nose with this, but like... You're trying not to be too on the nose? Somebody got hurt during a prank or during a you video got it. or oh! doing something for them, they wouldn't care. How did she not land that? Sorry, just side comment. How did she not land that? They don't feel bad. Like... TanaCon, for instance, with you, you felt such remorse. You were like, oh my because god. Because he was making a video out of it! God, people were outside. This is terrible. Because he was being terrible. recorded in the moment. Find a way to reimburse people. Someone who fit this would be like, meh, whatever. So basically, she's blowing smoke up his ass because he's right opposite her, is what we're getting at here. That'd be their whole mentality. 
They might even be like, oh, like they bought tickets and they, I mean, they were taking a risk. Like they just try to like, you know, they rationalize it. Why are you speaking like, for them? Blame others because they try to rationalize it out to, to make it not. But Shane fault, wouldn't do that. Don't really care. If Shane wouldn't do that, why did he promise them all that he was going to do his own meet and greet and then never did that? Sounds like someone a sociopath would do. By the way, whenever I'm saying sociopath, I'm being ironic here because I think the throwing around of these terms is disgusting. Ooh, oh my god, where is that hair? <laughs> I feel I'm sick, he says. Where is that hair? Just... Did you hear that? She goes, sorry, I have like cat hair like right on me. Did you hear her? Yeah, it's really gross. Who's going to her for therapy? Creepy. And the thing I think is hard for for people who don't have this to understand is like it's hard for us to view life. It's hard for us. Them. She's categorizing herself as the good people. Or without caring. And that's what they live in. That's like that's their experience. So they're like uh, it's kinda like a robot. Andrew, shh, stay quiet. Yeah, yeah, they're kinda like a robot. I saw an image when I Googled it, and it said that sociopath is like they're wearing a mask and around certain people they mm -hmm. use a different one. Mm -hmm. Like around, oh, around you, I'm going to be funny. Around you, I'm going to be sad. Around you, I'm going to be around you. Around you. Because, but what's under the mask is the truth. Yeah. And that person is never seen. No, right? it almost, I'd almost argue, like, doesn't really exist. Because I don't really know who they are. This is so painful to watch. Because their whole life is spent, like, sorry, why have I liked this? Other than mimicking behavior to fit in. So that's why there's different masks for different people because you'll notice if you're around someone like this when they're giving you like the heebie-jeebies. Imagine your therapist analyzes you and then goes on Shane's channel. You give me the heebie-jeebies. And daddy's gonna give her anything she wants as long as she does what daddy tells her. They do a lot of like, I don't know how else to describe it other than just being like a data detective. They're trying to get as much information about you as possible. The thing about YouTube is we put it out there so they can find it by just watching. If we're Which is honest. how you knew Shane had an ED. So you're not like, um, sixth sense for knowing that. So they're gonna, you detectives are gonna scrounge, they're gonna get as much information as they can so they can create the right mask for you. So that they can- But don't you and Shane do that? People, are people are tools. I wanted to segue into like a big picture about like YouTubers because that's got to say something about YouTubers. Again, important to note the sad music playing in the background here. Is that not sociopathic? YouTube in general because that what you just described is like that's like a playground for people like that, right? Or, oh my god, YouTube yeah, rewind. Like, YouTube is that. It is like a playground. If they have been watching YouTubers growing up mm -hmm. and now they're like, oh, I'm 18. I'm going to be a YouTuber. I'm going to use everything I learned. So yeah. do you think it is possible that a lot of YouTubers might this they could be or they could be narcissistic what's that i mean i know what it is but not like that yeah because narcissism is is again it's like born out of trauma usually which kind of makes you feel bad for them a little bit but like not that much because <laughs> her talking about her clientele by the way makes you feel bad for them but then doesn't make you feel bad for them at all wait if Oh, the empath section is coming up. I was like, oh my god, they're talking about YouTubers being sociopaths, but then not addressing themselves. They feel so fragile as a person that they put this up is like so this unethical. Wall that they're better than. They need a lot of attention. They want everybody to like them. They want to control everything and everybody else. So they tend to be really manipulative as well. So there is some overlap with this, but they do actually feel things. But they they manipulate in the same way. But they still they have a heart. Yes. They have a heart. Katie says that she, I don't know if you got that, she said she doesn't believe sociopaths have a heart. Whoa. Okay. I'm sure she got a rise in customers wow. after this video. I Remember she had to do an apology right after? Met a lot of you. I've definitely met a few. Is that a fake smile? Well, that gut feeling. Mm -hmm. um, that bill we're talking about. Like that. Yeah. Um, and I've met a few that fit this, mm -hmm. but I don't get that gut feeling. Are those people probably better manipulators? Or they know enough about you? I literally... It's hard. really gross, I know. It's really gross. Oh my god, she's literally being like, oh, and then if you think that there's people that don't fit that mold, but they're a YouTuber, they're probably just better at manipulating you. So then does that not mean that Shane is a really, really, really good manipulator? You can't, like, say this about YouTubers, and then not apply it to both of you who are YouTubers. She's more of a YouTuber than a therapist. So like then you might even be like friends with them because you don't know you're being manipulated. 
So Nygaritz <sighs> and Ryland are ones, okay. Um, nice. Whoa, okay. How, uh, how realistic is it that, like, what, what's, like, the statistic, I guess? Like, how realistic is it for me to know one? They say one in 25. I remember that fucking quote being used in my school of my friends being like, oh my god, one in 25, there's 30 of us here in this class. Oh, who is it? The damage this video did to youth. It's crazy. It is so awkward. <laughs> Like, oh. By the way, this is all information, by the way, that's like literally like the first thing that comes up in Google, which goes to show how little information she looked for when it came to this topic. 10,000 or so. <laughs> they, make you, they make it seem like it's a really low percentage. It's a huge percentage of the population. It's the same as like schizophrenia or other mental illnesses that we know well and we see and we hear about. But even in school, they didn't really talk enough about this because it's icky. It's yeah. the dark side. The damage of Shane Why? Wilson. Why? Why yeah. uh, am I just learning? Yeah, seriously. This? Why is this something that nobody talks about? One in 25 is like a person in your class or a person in my family for sure or a person in my friend group yeah. or... A person in your friend group. Why aren't we addressing that it's you? You fit the mold of everything you're saying, don't you? Like a hundred people on YouTube. Mm -hmm. One more. Yeah. Yeah, it's way more common. One. Yeah, the fact that this entire conversation is happening with a therapist before she's even met the person that she's already talking about in a therapist way just goes to show how unethical she is to kind of start paying attention to it's it. icky she says you, oh you that vidcon center gives me trauma flashbacks so so for people watching at home hi in their day-to-day -day life mm -hmm. what should they look for is it the person who's always Happy. But who's to say that the people aren't watch or the people here watching this video aren't sociopaths? Is it like is there like a mean characteristic? Because it's not like an evil looking person. Right? No, they're, they're pretending to be nice. Yeah, they're pretending. They're mimicking. You, Shane. I think in truth, it'd be someone who is really popular. Simpson had an active social life and lots of friends. Oh my god, this looks like the top that I was gonna wear to Beyonce, doesn't it? I think. Look. In truth, it'd be someone who is really popular. Simpson. Look. <laughs> had an active social life and lots of friends and someone who always knows the right thing to say for some reason no matter the situation they're always really witty you know i mean i ordered a cake for myself i'm not a monster i, I see i see <laughs> all right so at least you had a cake yeah i'm not a sociopath but, yeah yeah they're actually super intelligent usually because to manipulate so anyone that's happy smart or makes jokes from Katie Morton, the licensed therapist. It takes a lot of intelligence. Imagine all the, like, detecting... We have this to is so and, stupid. You know, searching for all those little bits about people that we can use to manipulate them. It takes a lot of effort. They probably have a lot of different relationships in their past. Like, they tend to bounce from friends to friends because as soon as people start to see a change, if they're not very good at manipulating, they'll move on to another group. Like, adults move a lot. Not very far in a radius, but they'll move from like a city to another city. So the people who kind of figured out something with that. I moved there. from Derry to Brighton. Oh, I'm so so bad. Do they have relationships? Yeah, they do. They can even be married with kids. Whatever they think helps them fit in. Think about anything in life, owning a home, having a dog. So the therapist, by the way, is saying that anyone who's a sociopath is faking it when they're in a marriage or faking it when they have kids. So basically just saying that if you have a mental disorder or mental illness, you're just a nasty, fucked up person. Being married, having kids. Who deserves they're nothing. Gonna be, they're going to put up the best show that they can. And they're master manipulators. So they can manipulate people into thinking that they love them. Well, you punched her a number of times. Yeah. I fell in love with that person. You threatened to beat the blank out of her. That's embarrassing. When you got home, also said you won, you were going to kill Including this is so tasteless. You don't appear like a violent person. No. But you appear rather calm, rather nice. They'll do everything someone wants, whatever. Tacky to include like, that. They'll learn so much about this person. Also, we talked about YouTube being their playground. So are um, online dating sites. Because they can find people that way and they can learn a lot about them in their profile. Mm. And they'll do exactly what they want them. Like, they'll be their perfect, because they always ask, like, what would be your perfect mate? Hold on. Dating sites. Because they can find people Hold on. and they can learn a lot about them in their profile. Mm. And they'll do exactly what they want them. Like, they'll be their perfect, because they always ask, like, well... I'm pretty sure... Because I'm a, I'm a Tumblr kid, right? I'm a Tumblr kid. 
This photo right here, I'm pretty sure, used to pop up on my Tumblr all the time, and I'm pretty sure it's Dylan Sprice's nudes. I may be wrong, but I'm... This is like a full photo. Why is he including this in the video? Why is he including that in the video? You're like including celebrities like cut off nudes in your video? I may be wrong. But I think it is. They'll become that perfectly. Because it doesn't matter either way to them because they're no. not losing anything. But that is so anything. weird. People are tools. So if I need to get married or I need to be in a relationship, how do I make that happen? And the one who's quick too. But okay, so say sociopaths actually want to get married then while they're faking it. They want to have babies while they're faking it. They'll like get to know you and then they want to be your best friend or they want to start dating or then they'll start asking you to marry them or they want to move in like everything moves pretty quickly she's saying Not that they can't crazy, coexist and just have really a life but like just enough that you're like uh in your friends and family married like, people sociopaths really fast. i don't know them very well and they won't let you see much of their life either so if you get married really fast or you fall in love really fast sociopath like Usually they're hesitant to let people over to their house or their bedrooms or parts of their space that they can. I'm hesitant to let people over. It's because I enjoy my space. Oh my god, Adam McIntyre is sociopath. Completely make look a certain way. Um, what am I? <laughs> because, like, I feel like I... <sighs> this section is literally called empath. Y'all, we need to be strong because for the next four minutes for the next four minutes we are going to have to hear about how shane is such an amazing person and how shane is an empathic soul and how shane is just the greatest person ever four minutes we need to hold out together for four minutes Come on, four minutes. Attract <sighs> sociopaths. Potentially. I'm not so soft. Yeah, like I'm not calling out people. I'm not saying there's certain YouTubers who I've like. You've spent this entire video showing I've clips of YouTubers. Real life. Like, yeah. I feel like, but I also. Look at the sad music. When he starts to talk about himself, he now has sad music playing in the fucking background. Did you hear that, Switch? Let me hear this. I feel like, like. Yeah. I feel like, but I also feel like I, like, get them and I want... Did he, or did he not, say that anyone who's a sociopath would have to fake adding music to the background to get their sadness across? One last time. I feel like, like... Yeah. I feel like, but I also feel like I, like, get... How up yourself do you have to be as well that when you start talking about yourself, you start playing sympathetic music? Grow up. Them, and I want to help them. He wants to help them. He's an empath. Because you're empathic. Which, empath. The damage she did by that statement. We didn't hear the fucking end of it for years. I've heard that before. Yeah. What like, is that? It's essentially like we feel for other people. Like, so, so this is the opposite. An antisocial personality disorder or a sociopath would be your antithesis. Like, the complete opposite. So every time you think, the sad music. Oh, but, like, that must really suck for them. They would have none of that. That doesn't exist. They might even be like, something horrific happens, and they're like, what's for lunch? Like, let's move on. Because it has no energy, no feeling for them. But an empath is someone you, you might even like attract these people because you do feel so much. And in doing so, unfortunately, you offer up a lot of yourself. And so they're like, oh, I can use all I just can't get over the music. It is literally Minecraft music. I love this to make this work for me. But does that mean they don't even like me? Possibly. I don't know if they know how to like people or love people. Here I go again. I'm like, that's so sad. It is, it but is sad. But is it sad? Because they don't think it's sad. It's sad for you. Because it would affect you. It doesn't affect them. Okay. At a bare minimum, she's the easiest manipulated therapist in the entire world. I could go in and say his entire speech and she would call me an empath and fucking offer me a friendship. Girl, you're easy to work, but it's because you're not properly, like, doing your job. I'm sad now, because I'm like, okay. Oh my god, you're sad. Are you a therapist? Are you an empath? Sorry. We all know one, mm -hmm. or multiple. Yeah. So then it's mm -hmm. like, that person has never been experienced, like, the joy of, like, having sex for the first time, or, like, getting your first call. 
Time and place. Time and place. They don't like sociopaths do not enjoy roller coasters. It's like a robot. Sociopaths do not enjoy sex. It is sad, but they don't know any different. They don't really care. That's the thing. There's no empathy. It always goes back to that because it's like hard to be like, oh, that. She's fake that crying. And I'm sure if someone has some of the signs and symptoms. But Wait, so does that not apply whenever Taddy Westbrook was recalling her um, A B E S E that she experienced? And Shane goes, oh my God, who cares? Fully engulfed in it. I thought he, you know, got so emotional whenever people were opening up. They might be really bummed and like try. But only when it affects it. him, right? But the amount of people I'd assume that fall into that category are very slim to none. You are so Especially manipulative. You, you are fake crying. Worse. What would happen if they went to therapy? Probably nothing. Whatever. The piano music intensifies. They want it to happen. Because they're manipulators. They're never going to tell me what, what's really going on or what they're worried about. They'll, they could potentially only get better at manipulating people. Because if they're given like more tools in therapy that we think are like being helpful... And you're actually, especially if it's like a couple, if you're sharing more about yourself, then you're giving them more information to utilize to manipulate you. Adam McIntyre is an entertaining sociopath. Thank you, babe. But if but if I cry, will you say I'm not a sociopath? If I say that that comment really hurt my feelings. Definitely. The piano music is crazy. Ooh, no, we're getting creepy music. <laughs> so your only regret is that the torture didn't go on anymore. Right, and I regret not killing my other victim. I should have killed him, too. I just didn't have time. I had to go somewhere. Will you kill again? If the opportunity arises, I hope so. Okay, let's... We're done. Are you done? Yeah. All right. Good shit, dude. That's going to be crazy, isn't it? <laughs> That's gonna be wicked. Make it look good, please. Not only best wishes to you, but right. Yeah, it leads me to. I made Adam cry, and I am a sociopath. Look how the tables turn. I'm the empath. See. Final question. Final question. Um, this int. Thirty-three. Thirty-three. Is how long we've watched of this so far. And not once. Sorry. Mm -mm -mm. Forty minutes. Forty-five minutes. And the entire thing. Not once does Jake Paul appear in the mind of Jake Paul or the dark side of Jake Paul. Why did Jake Paul not see him? Like, does he come out really good in the end of this? Because if he didn't, I would have sued. Two hours of content about someone diagnosing them, and not once has Jake Paul appeared in the series because the opportunity has not been given to him yet. No, 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 no. You don't want to talk about bad documentary making. Uh, Jake Paul. The first mention of Jake Paul, almost 40 minutes into a 45 minute long video. It's possible. I mean, I don't know him. That's the thing. It's like people put on shows to be on YouTube. Like, you know what I mean? Personas. Yeah, it's called trying to be entertaining. I'm not saying he's entertaining, but that's literally how it works. Yeah, can we get some more tomatoes, please? Please, just throw them. Yeah. But throw them. Going back to the symptoms and signs that we just read through, like, not caring if people get hurt. He's done things to me. This video is so bad. Members of his like team, right? Um, like the lack of emotion in his eyes and stuff is kind of creepy. Uh, the lack of emotion in his eyes is creepy. The therapist says about someone she has not met yet. This is why this video series is so bad because she's already conditioned to believe what Shane believes because she just wants a bigger platform. More tomatoes. Bring the tomatoes, please, in the chat down below. I want YouTube comments filled with it too. If you're watching this far, I want at least 10 tomatoes down below. Um, but I'd have to... I, I don't know. Is he? I mean, does he... Is he remorseful? 
Does he just pretend? Wait, Shane said that he went into this not telling her what who this was about. So how does she know that it's like so much about Jake Paul? He's remorseful. We see like videos where he says he is, but is he? I don't know. First of all, I am so sorry to the Martinez twins. I know he's definitely impulsive, but he's also like a younger guy, you know? But I'd have to get to know him better because like, we think there's empathy, but is it a, is it a show? Is it manipulation? I'd like to hear what other people in his life have to say, because they know him better. Right. Yeah. It's definitely possible. Do you have to get a full- More tomatoes. How he is when the camera's not on and how, like what his Wait. girlfriends have to say. Mm. More tomatoes. Life, it's on their face now. More, more tomatoes, more please. This is awful. And I don't know if he is either. Like, I don't know. I haven't met him either. And I'd throw them. I'd have to meet him. And I'd have throw to them. Meet him a little bit more. And throw to meet them. Him to get a full picture. Because it could be narcissism. It could be nothing. He could be totally fine and it's just a persona. We don't know. Would you come? Yeah, I'll go. Let's hope he's not scary. <laughs> Let's hope he's not scary. <laughs> I mean, is that. But do I not tell? Do I. How do I approach this? Do I oh my god. So this next part is one of the most controversial parts of this entire series. The fact that Katie Morton went undercover analyzing him. Do you know how ethically wrong that is? Especially when this is all being fucking filmed. Do I say like, oh, I just want to sit and talk and whatever, whatever. And then I slowly get into the sociopathic stuff or do I not even ask? I don't think we ask. I think it's more because we're kind of on like a... We're being detectives. We're trying to figure it out. So I think we're being detectives about secretly analyzing someone's mental health to millions of people. It's more of like, hey, a lot of people talk trash about you because they do. And that's why I don't want to say he necessarily is because I don't really know. But, you know, here's a way for, for us to sit down and talk. And you it's know, every day, bro. I think it's just kind of like a very open ended because we'll see where it leads us. And between the two of us, hopefully we can figure out if he's manipulative or he's lying or telling the truth and stuff like that. I'm. I'm like trained with that. If you're the professional, why do you need Shane to analyze him too? Girl, just do your job. <laughs> Pretty well, but like I'm still human. Yeah. The one thing about them that I think is really important to know too is that they're instantly likable. They're extremely charismatic. Their manipulation allows them to they can woo your grandma. They can make kids like them. They, everybody thinks they're the life of the party and the best person. Because remember when I was saying like they know just exactly what to say at the right time? They're witty. They're quick-witted. They're usually really funny and just overall charismatic. So everybody's going to like them right away. See, that gives me hope that he's not one. Because, like, not to drag him, but he's... <laughs> not to drag him? You just spent 36 minutes making fun of him. Really not likable. I mean, people instantly, they hate that guy. Yeah. Very hateable, punchable, I'd say. That's <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, when somebody's trying to punch that guy, like, Jake Paul yeah. has that... But, hold on. Mm -mm -mm. Did or did Katie Morton not say earlier that people who initiate violence are sociopaths? Shane just said he wants to punch him. Katie Morton, let's keep the energy! Let's keep the energy. He elicits like a, it's almost like Jeffrey. The people love to hate him. Jeffrey Star, same yeah. thing. Go kill yourself. Well, oh I feel God. like that almost that negates it. Kind of, right? Mm -hmm. Like if if you were to say a certain celebrity who was a sociopath, who could I get in trouble? But like, because we don't know. But like, it would be somebody instantly likable, like. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I hate to like drag it. somebody because they could be, su they're super nice. That's why right. people like them. But, yeah. but, and I'm not calling anybody out, but let's say like an Ellen. She's super nice. Everybody loves her. And like, that, that would be, and I don't think she is, but I'm just saying that like, that's the type of You don't think she is, but you're persuaded Jake Paul is. Right. What we're talking about is like that super personality. Everybody likes him. They don't really know why. Did you happen to see the Logan Paul Casey Nice to interview? Yes. What did you think? I mean, the sad music again. It was a little creepy. He didn't really. Oh my god! Enjoy your coffee date. The questions, which I found interesting. Yeah. And it was kind of narcissistic. It was all about him and like how it affected him. It's it's the most viewed anti-suicide um, PSA ever. The one thing that was interesting that what a weird to, thing like, to say. Sociopathic behavior is like. Oh my god! Thank you so much, JJB, for subscribing. Like, you thank and I, you. Something happened. Like thank even you. the Tanacon thing. You're like, oh my god, this is terrible. I feel terrible. Any normal person would be like, I am so sorry. 
and like earnestly you are sorry katie's not fucking jesus for mentioning ellen everyone hated ellen for years ellen has been getting called out since about 2016. that is horrible i don't want to hurt anybody's feelings a sociopath will in turn say that it was so hard for me you have no idea they'll cry this is all the money i lost and all the things that happened and uh, so that you feel bad for them they want to turn it around on this the situation on its head so that then you're like oh my god i'm so sorry and you leave every conversation feeling like it was worse for them and you feel bad for them <sighs> you know or you'll view them in a positive light you're like man that must have been so what is this I'm music nice in the background person. they feel just completely turned around Maybe I'm being cynical, but there's a little whiff of it sounding like you see yourself in some capacity as a, as a victim. No, oh, Casey, he follows me on Twitter. I made a severe Work. and continuous lapse in my judgment. Logan is like... We have five minutes left. Super charismatic. But Logan, I feel like, is more likable. Right? Like, not as many people hate him. He always seems like the good brother. Oh my god, not Dabby. I was gonna say growing up with that brother, not knowing what that was like. Yeah, like everybody loves Logan, loves Logan, loves Logan. He gets away with everything. He gets away with everything because he's so nice and fun and charming. And Jake is, that probably could even make, even if Logan's not supposed to be bad, that could just make Jake even more like angry, rebellious, like whatever. Oh, having, like anything to get attention. So what, now we're analyzing their family dynamic before even meeting them? Nice. Oh, nice. Me. Love me! Might be like, why? And that's why they feud so much. Mm -hmm. Not to get too deep, but like maybe Logan's. Not to get too Jake deep. More like, well, I don't really care that much. Like it's just money, and I'm getting mm -hmm. views. And Jake might actually be personally like. Right, actually be mad. Mad at his brother. Yeah, I don't know. Jake said, quote, I try to be just like him. It's so easy to get sucked into trying to be someone else, and that's what happened most of my life with my brother. Wow. We'd have to get to know them more. Because I don't know. Antisocial personality disorder is more common among first degree biological relatives. So they're more predisposed than the general population. So we're talking about that one in 25. If you have someone in your family who has antisocial personality disorder, you're much more likely. Why is this video still going on? Because you were like a. <sighs> he finally starts to like bring the topic back to him, and then she goes, You're a fixer. You're a fixer. You f you fix things. You love people. You love people. You fix things. You fix things. You fix things. Girl, please. A parentified child. So you've been like an adult since you were whatever age. Yeah. yeah. And I think now I'm just at the point where I'm like, I like stay up all night and I'm just lost. And I'm just like, oh. Which is why I started falling down the holes of like sociopaths and this and that. Because I'm like, what's wrong with me? Like, why am I so lost? If I can help all these people, why can't I help myself? Why am I still depressed? Why am I all Sorry, we're about to end this, but can I just say something? How easy it is to do every single thing they talked about? If I'm not in a mood, if I'm not in a good mood and I have to smile for a photo. I'm smiling. My eyes aren't smiling. It's a normal thing. And look, look at this. There's nothing in front of me except for my webcam. Look at this, wait. Now my eyes look happy. All these things. I look at my channel and I'm like, oh. Or like, the more I'm helping or, people, the worse I'm getting. And this experience with The more he helps people, the worse he's stuff, getting, he says. This very much feels like the breaking point of life. She's literally diagnosed maybe Shane as Bob the Builder. I want her to diagnose me as Hello Kitty. And maybe I should. Uh, I would love that. I want to get a Hello Kitty uh, tattoo. Go to therapy myself. Mm -hmm, definitely. <laughs> Instead of trying to give therapy to YouTubers like I've been doing. Okay, but this isn't really therapy. This is just her being like, you're you're amazing and you will never do anything wrong. There is hope. Don't panic. <laughs> Don't panic. Don't panic. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do a series just about you fixing me. <laughs> Maybe that is the series. Jeez. Then so, why is it titled about Jake Paul? Me. How the fuck is this titled The Dark Side of Jake Paul and The Mind of Jake Paul whenever all this has been has been about you being amazing? Because like, yeah, that... that. Wow. How long Five hundred. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I pins and needles in my leg. Um, okay, Ow. well, I'm gonna go uh, outside and second guess every single person I meet. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's not that many. I, I mean, it's quite a few.
There's I'm more. Spiraling. This has become more than just a Jake Paul series at this point, right? This is like... So why is it focused right? Why is the title and thumbnail bite him then? What she described is so many people I know and so many people I've met and worked with and been friends with and been in relationships with. Like, anybody could be a sociopath? Anybody. Like, well, there's a bar right there. Like, if we walk into that bar, there's probably, what, 100 people? So that means there's four? So why isn't that, like, a thing that's, like, talked about? It's so weird. Because the people in charge might be that. Think about it this way. If your teacher's a sociopath, why would she teach you about it? She doesn't want you to know her tricks. I just got the chip. <laughs> or, like, the president. Everybody thinks Donald Trump is a sociopath. So what if every president's a sociopath? Kind of what makes sense, right? I heard Steve Jobs. I, I didn't hear about that. I, I guess I never really thought about what that even meant. I just hear that word and I go, oh, that's different. Uh, literally all I know is I'm not a sociopath. You're not. <laughs> In closing it off, all I know is, I'm not one. But everyone else is. Everyone else is, and he's the victim, and per me, woe me, blah, 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 blah. Seriously, what the hell? A sociopath? And, like, that's it. <laughs> I, I, like, this girl, she could be a sociopath. Look at her, she's smiling. Look at her. Are you a sociopath? No. That's what a sociopath is. <laughs> Two questions. Number one, do you think Jake Paul is a sociopath? Absolutely. Who is this girl? Do you think you know any sociopaths in your real life? I do not. Uh, what if I told you that one in 25 people is a sociopath? Then I would be questioning my friends. Same. <laughs> Wanted a picture? <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, in closing this off, this was just like an entire competition of I think this series is just Shane wanting people to know that he's a great person and that he is amazing and that he's a fixer and an empath and a lovely person. I just think it's really embarrassing. I think it's embarrassing that you've done two hours of content on Jake Paul and not once brought him up yet. I think it's incredibly invasive. I think it's incredibly morally wrong. And in two hours of talking about Jake Paul, who, you know, is very, very, very popular, especially back then, you spent the entire time trying to get the audience that are watching for Jake Paul to just love you instead. And I think Katie's so morally and ethically wrong. I've already talked about that. But anyway, that was episode two. I think that this is the worst episode of them all. So this was rough to get through. Thank God it's done. Um, I think this was the, the roughest one. I think maybe the next ones are pretty rough as well. But until Katie Morton goes, it's going to be... Mm -mm -mm -mm. so yeah um i appreciate you watching though oh my god wait maybe i was lying maybe i don't appreciate you watching maybe i'm a fucking sociopath like please anyway thank you for watching 